All right, let's go. Well, welcome to the recap of the 7th of December on a Wednesday evening. So, if you watch this uh, case studies, you can see the trades I discussed over here. The two longs that uh, I lost and the break even short. I quickly spoke about this long over here. We'll go into detail uh, that later. Let's just go from the high time frame and see what happened today and see if we can make a story of, out of it. We can always make a story out of it. That's a beautiful thing. So I have this trend line again, as usual. And we are still in this bearish red range. We are still bullish on the dark blue, the light blue ranges. We haven't achieved discount yet. And then... What can we see? Yesterday we closed pretty bearish. Then we took previous daily lows and our price moved up uh, to previous daily highs. <clears throat> so uh, we took liquidity from both sides. Now we can either, if we go down lower, we can either continue on this purple range and go higher or we took liquidity from here, we took liquidity from previous daily highs, we can now continue down lower into the discount or this, let's actually mark that out into this area, the unmitigated area of the red range or the low time frame red range because we also have the major red range which is bearish so then today we came into the deepest 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 discount well not the deepest deepest but the very very deep discount of the purple range by doing so we took previous daily lows and we took asia lows therefore i was looking for longs and as you can see, uh, there was a long setup, but I don't know why, but suddenly my bias changed. And I think it was because of, we got a low and we never reached the discount or the premium. We got that high and we never reached the premium um, of that range. So therefore I was still looking for shorts in the most recent bearish five minute range. However, what we can see and this is what I'm trying to do now is looking at the other side of where I was looking when I was trading is that we got the early buyers, early buyers taken out. We uh, mitigated the one minute candle or yeah, the one minute wick. Let me just go there so you can see it. We mitigated the unmitigated area on the one minute of this wick as you can see and then price moved up and you could see the liquidity build up above that wick as well so london move daily cycle move what can we see as well asia was a range a low a high some relative equals some internal range liquidity over here so really longs made sense. <clears throat> but I was too focused on the shorts after my long failed and we got to turn around here. So I was trying to sell from here. Short, I did this and it turned out to be a break even trade. I also misread the, the structure, but that's all right because we were already bullish here. So I went, uh, Oh, it bre break even around this area because we were still we still had bullish uh order flow. This was the trade of the day, really. So again, early buyers, early buyers taken out, bullish break for structure, still liquidity to the upside, liquidity Asia highs, Asia lows been taken, previous daily lows been taken, so liquidity to the downside is taken, so we should liquidity to the upside. Then to the previous daily highs, uh, risk to reward of 117. Then anticipating on that we can expect longs, what can we see? 
we broke above here, then what's down here after that? Not much. You can see that we came back to the discount and then continue down. Before that, we never reached discount. This is our early sellers. Then discount. Nope, 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 nope. So this was our first discount. Mm, 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 no, no trades, nothing that fits the plan. This. No. Any buys? Any buyers? Uh, New York is ugly. Yes, it was ugly as well. Because there's also no PI. We just... Where did we mitigate? Did we mitigate something on the high time frame? Not yet, I think. No, we got a one hour PI over here, but this is uh, this is showing by buyer intent, buyer hands coming into the market. Then this is our first place. This is a new range. That's... Okay, we discussed these trades. Not very interesting, to be honest. Let's just take it off. So this is a new bullish range. What? From low up to the high. And this is our first mitigation of the discount. Um, so there you go. We can ask if this liquidity to the or the internal range liquidity to be taken, and where can we then see a reaction? We can either see a reaction from this uh, one hour block. We can also make it like this. And is there, uh, yeah, we can either go for 30, we can go for the one hour or for the 30 minute. Really, I prefer the 50 minute and then. What is this? And then this unmitigated area as well, where we can see a turnaround in price. And then we can look for longs. Now, of course, what, what do we want to see? The basic sequence of price going down lower, maybe inducing price, uh, some bias here. And like this. Fake break. Break to the downside, break to the upside, coming down and coming back up. In terms of uh, liquidity that's taken, we took New York highs, we took Asia highs, now to the upside, we took previous daily highs. This will probably be our new previous daily high. This will be a previous daily low. Uh, depending on Asia, if Asia, like, if you just stays in this area and does something like this, that would be perfect. So then we can like expect uh, Asia low from here to be taken. Then we have Asia high to target. So then we can see like, okay, we took Asia high lows. We came into this POI and then we can continue up take previous daily highs and then we uh, don't need to see price to take out London lows from yet, from today and also not the previous daily low. Um, maybe we will come down lower. It's also possible. Let's see what's down lower. Well, we can see we have a five minute POI still over here. Well, let's remove all this. Let's remove this one as well. We get a five minute POI over here. Uh, let's mitigate it. We got this five minute POI and this one we can like divide it in two. What makes this POI a strong five minute POI? Is yeah, the fact that if we go lower, it disrupted these lows. So really, 
and we will see tomorrow if it happens. It doesn't need to happen, but it can happen. So there's like the early seller move. People try to sell from here. You can see some sellers coming in, fighting the market and everything up. But really this area is the area that took out this low. So this area is still mitigated. And this area might get tapped in tomorrow. And then we can see it move up. We also have a lot of area. Uh, open space to the downside but like this this is a strong i'm interested in this area let's just keep it like that i'm interested in an area i don't like to mark on the one minute but just because we did the research into that block we can see that for tomorrow if anything we can also uh, uh, uh. your way to the downside which are still preferring because we took previous weekly lows and on the high time frame we are in this perfect spot to sell off but no 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 perfect spot let's just not say that just because of then i will keep it in my head like oh my god this is the perfect spot and there's no perfect spot there's just a low probability and a high probability spot and for me it feels like we are in a high probability spot now um, momentum wise on these longs what can we see in the high time from candles what can we read from those candles so after Asia impulse down slow down then strong impulse up some indecisive candle getting sellers in after we took Asia high that's this area that's where we get the disruption of this low they continue up so this is the low that took liquidity and then moved up same for here that's why we probably have had a reaction although this is not a low that created a new high it's the low that followed this this order flow so yeah now we're here and i expect price to continue for the down or like that it just looks a little bit that what we can also see is that we form our Asia here, and maybe we can look from shorts, shorts from this area, and then continue down. So let's just mark that out for tomorrow. It's pretty interesting. Oh. But let's see. Um, what can we see in the four hour? Any candles? So, then, if anything, the four hour shows us that we continue up. Look at this correction on the way down, impulse on the way up, and now not a strong candle down. Well, this is a uh, New York open, and this candle is not looking strong either, but we still got two hours left. So, let's see. This is the week of today. Yeah, it's a bit, bit of the same every day. But I tried to cover everything. We covered the momentum on the higher time frame candles. We covered the high time frame candle price behavior. We covered the lower time frames. We covered the liquidity. We covered the ranges. We covered structure, uh, internal range liquidity, external range liquidity. We have session highs above here. So we have daily highs probably above here. We have daily or session highs to the downside. And we have daily low or session lows to the downside. And we have daily lows to the downside so it's pretty uh, let's just see and wait and see what price gives us